Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to another episode of One Love, One House. Today we have a special episode for y'all. This is our election episode. And we're definitely going to be sitting here talking to Sydney Brooks. And so just let us know a little bit about yourself. Break it down. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> so look, my name is Sydney Brooks. I'm a candidate for the 7th Ward Alderman position. I've been a resident of the South Shore community for 48 years. I've coached in the South Shore community. I went to school in the South Shore community. One, I'm tired of all these outsiders coming in trying to run our ward. <laughs> My platform goes like this. As people, we must, uh, we must ask ourselves, what are we prepared to do to rebuild our community? We have for many years put our faith in politicians who promise to make changes only pro to only produce countless dreams. Our community is at a point that we need to come together and restore that once was a safe environment. In order for it to be accomplished, we must develop an effective long-term solution. Community self-reliance is the foundation of my candidacy. Our solution must be rooted as our issues and must be as deeply rooted as our issues. If they are any produce, if they are to produce a lasting change, as all of me, I have three major areas of focus: a youth initiative organization, a not in our community organization, okay. and a, uh, a business and community coalition. Okay, I'm actually reading that too, and I, I was really um, interested in what you had to say about your three uh, main points. Uh, did you want to elaborate on that a little bit? Yes. And our youth initiative program is set up to have training programs for our young people. Okay. From age okay. 5 to 23. Okay. Okay. One of the problems that we have in the South Shore community, or in the 7th Ward, is we have a lot of young people who have no training. Right. I have three young men that I hired over the summer to work. Young man was 12 years old, didn't know how to cut grass. Oh, wow. Yeah. So how are we asking our young men to go out here and get jobs right. when they can, don't even know how to cut, cut grass? grass. Right. Exactly. Right. You know, then you have, everyone says the crime, gangs. People who live in the 7th Ward, uh -huh. no, we don't really have gangs. Okay. I've been there when the gangs was there. We have cliques. And when, once we start addressing them issues, it's block by block. My mother lives on block. It's very quiet. It's spots. And we need to address them spots. That way you come into not in our community. We're going to go into each one of them spots. Okay. And address it. We have rules where if you, if the house next door to you is a nuisance, uh -huh. we're going to go after that. If Absolutely. there's a piece of investment right. Right. property, we're going to go after that investor. Okay. And tell them, yo, clean up your property right. or we're going to put you up on the nuisance law okay. and we're going to close it. I got now a you paying. I got a nuisance neighbor. Wish I could say something to him. Well, <laughs> see, who do you call? We're supposed to call uh, Deborah Graham. Mm-hmm. Uh but guess uh, what? Yeah. Come move over to the South Ward. You call me and I we go through something I probably like will because uh, his garage tow up, his grass ain't cut. He's just a nuisance. We yeah, don't like but him. But see, in the, <laughs> with the youth initiative program, is he a senior? Yeah. Okay. Being part of the youth initiative program, we would go over and ask him, yo, do you mind if we send these young men that we have been training to come over and help clean, you cut your grass for you, fix your garage, and that'd be part of their training on how to learn how to do construction work huh. and work on the garage. That's Cause then he wouldn't be a nuisance to you no right. more. That's really true. Well, I have a question, a couple questions I want to ask you. Uh, what's the first thing you would do to improve the seven board if elected? If elected, the first thing I'm doing is the full three things that we talked That's about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right That now. would be the first thing. We have to get away from the. I'm not going to make promises. Right, right. I'm not going to say I can fix the seventh war mm -hmm. by myself. Right. But I'm going to come to you mm -hmm. as a young man. Right. This young man. And see, I need y'all to come sit at the table with me. Right. And tell me what's the problem. Too many people talk to you. Right. They don't listen. Right. I want to sit down and listen. And once we, I listen, then I'm going to tell you my vision, and we go back and forth. Mm -hmm. And somewhere in there, we're going to find middle ground. Right, right. And you're going to be happy to go out there and say, yo, 
this has to stop. We right. got somebody here that cares, somebody who's trying to do something. Mm -hmm. I can't bring businesses into the community if you're standing on the corner mm -hmm. talking about loose squares. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You're going to run the, you gonna hey. run the <laughs> businessman away. Right, exactly. You know, so oh, wow. I need you not to stand on the corner talking about loose squares. Right. But at the same time, I got to give you something to replace that loose square money. Right. Exactly. That's where the training program comes in. The loose square man makes $10. If I'm gonna pay you ten dollars an hour to come work in the youth initiative program, which one would you will do? I'm gonna go ahead and take the ten dollars right. an hour. You're not gonna be standing in front of the store selling loose square, loose square. Right. <laughs> and my uh, second question is: the TIF funds have been misallocated uh, through throughout various wards of Chicago. What will you do about the TIF, TIF funds in the seventh ward? First thing I want to do with the TIF funds uh -huh. is take the mayor out of it. Okay. The mayor has too much say so on where TIF funds are spent right, right. and what they are spent on. My idea of TIF funds should not go to Hyatt Hotel right. to build a hotel in High Park Agreed. when they can they have their own money. That's true. Uh, going downtown, building these big condo buildings where the condo developers have their own money. Mm -hmm. Our TIF money should be spent in the seventh ward building up our little moms and pop stores mm -hmm. we they use our tiff money to build a school but then you don't let the kids in our neighborhood go to the school wow. so right. that 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 didn't that didn't serve us no purpose right you spent 90 million dollars on the new highway project highway 41 didn't none of us get no jobs from it that didn't serve no purpose right. but i have banded houses and businesses that can be that TIF money can be used where young men like yourself can right. get jobs right. that will serve a purpose. Right. And I believe my co-host does have a couple more questions for you. Yeah, I do. Well, we can do this all night. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, how did the Seventh War become known uh, for Sandy Jackson being arrested and found guilty, and how was uh, this affected the Seventh War? Sandy Jackson being arrested really didn't affect the Seventh War. She was a nun affected alderman okay she was never there so it, it really didn't make much of a difference uh to the people i know in the seventh war okay what is going what's happening is we have been out of contact with our last two three aldermen okay and people have got to the point now they want somebody who's gonna walk the streets Okay. I walk the streets of the seventh ward. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere right. in the seventh ward I can't walk. Nowhere I haven't been. The young guys on the street, I talk to them. Okay. They look at me. What's up, pops? Right. Old school. Okay. So we have a relationship, and this is what we need in the seventh ward. My senior citizens need to be reconnected with my youth. My youth need to get more pride in their community. Like right. I said, I've been there 48 years. Mm -hmm. We used to sweep the streets right. keep it clean we right. let nobody walk on grass mm -hmm. exactly right this is what we need to get back right. to and we definitely do appreciate you coming through with these great q and a's with us and right now we're going to have lava come back to the stage for us and do some more great poetry we definitely do appreciate you coming and you. all the great information for you we really do come out and vote we will show it with <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> right now as lava walks to the stage and you come and grace our stage one more time with your great poetry and spoken word. Uh, you go ahead and do what you do. We are gonna go ahead and let you get the stage. Okay. <laughs> Listen to the words and let lava flow. My pearls are priceless. And I'm not being self-righteous, I'm just valuable. So invaluable that a man needs a plan to find me. It's not about whining and dining me to give me a pearl necklace for a night. See, I won't settle for less than I'm worth, and I'm worth the fight to keep. I'm worth the dive in the deep because my pearls don't come cheap. See, I'm a natural pearl, one of the most beautiful in the world, I might add. I'm not a PMS sister, but this sister is bad, looking for more than a kiss and a compliment. I have great purpose with valuable content encrusted in my shell with a soft center that lives to tell and showcase my beauty for display. My pearl is secure. 
so I don't fall prey to the wrong fisherman, only looking for me to land in his bed or be with someone who wants to play games with my head while I bend over for his. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. All of my pearls are priceless, see. I don't have much time for Xbox, PlayStation, or Wii because I dance my revolution on a path to my destiny. If I choose to make it rain, it's because I create change in the atmosphere and not as a rack city chick twerk in my rear. But don't get it twisted. I do love my brothers. But how they respect themselves and their baby mamas, I take careful note of. If he calls them drama, I'm going to be disrespected too. So I learned to love self first, to not thirst for the approval of my boo. Now, this is how I roll, and I roll like this because my pearls are valuable, and yes, they are priceless. By writing an appraisal for myself, long before anyone else sets the price too low, it won't be so hard for me to raise it. I appreciate and value the more lava flows, so honey, let's face it. If we set our standards higher in the beginning, we create more happily ever after endings for ourselves than sad ones. So ladies, while you're out there having fun, always present your pearls as priceless. And not being self-righteous, but always remembering that you're valuable. And that's my flow. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We really do appreciate you today coming through and doing what you do so great, so well. Um, we appreciate our audience. We appreciate everybody. Sydney. Sydney, come back to the We appreciate can I call, can I call you. Can I call you Sydney? Sydney. Right. We appreciate you for coming out today, too, and giving us some great information and some things we need to take really and truly important that we need to you know, talk about in the Chicago area. I would like to say thank you everyone for viewing. Young people, 18 to 30, this is your time. Come out, vote. We need you to come vote. Vote for Sydney Brooks, 7th Ward. Okay. Like I said, I do appreciate everybody who came out today. I uh, appreciate these people for coming and doing everything we do. And uh, like I said, we're going to get out of here. And we appreciate y'all. Um, keep tuning in to One Love, One House and continue to vote for us for the Midwest Music Award. You can go to the website and vote and definitely continue to support our show. We out here. Yep. Vote. <laughs> <laughs>